on Ram News, riding the Freedom Train at WSSU, and is junk food really bad for you? Next. From the campus of Winston-Salem State University, this is Ram News. Hello, I'm Sherelle Phelps. Between 1850 and 1860, Harriet Tubman conducted 300 slaves to freedom on the Underground Railroad. Now over 90 years after Tubman's death, Gwendolyn Briar Strand breathes, Briley Strand breathes new life into the legacy with the one-woman play, Harriet Tubman, The Chosen One. Tim Pulliam has the story. I look back at myself to see if I was the same person. Now that I was free, I would have ran away too. I would have been just like Harry Tubman. Tonight, the community of Winston-Salem came together in K.R. Williams Auditorium to witness a remake of Harriet Tubman's Fight for Freedom on the Underground Railroad. Oppressed so hard, they could not stand. Let my people go. Well, we wanted to come and see this very important part of our history. It's not just part of African American history, it's part of all of America's history. And so we wanted to come and hear the story and be part of this, part of our history that we're celebrating this month. Oh, freedom! I thought about it all the time. The actress Gwendolyn Briley Strand plays Tubman, an abused slave determined to travel northward on the Underground Railroad towards freedom for herself and other slaves. My brothers and sisters, my whole family was still in slavery. That's when I realized in order for me to be truly happy, I'd have to have my family with me. So I decided then I'd have to go back to Dorchester County, who better than me, right? I, I, I'd done it before. The Lord, he'd let me do it again. Oh man, it was magnificent. I was truly thrilled because there was something that I did not know, a lot of things that I did not know, and the passion that she had. Oh man, with the characters. For a few moments, I was allowed to suspend my disbelief and just believe that she was Harriet. I caught up with the actress backstage to find out what was her motivation for the play. I just became intrigued over this woman's life. I thought I knew a lot about her until I really started to dig into her life. And I realized I knew so little. And performing other people's scripts that they had written, they just didn't tell what I wanted to tell about this great woman. To let my people go. The Harriet Tubman production was a success with faculty, staff, and students. The production will go on to New Jersey. On the campus of Winston-Salem State University, I'm Tim Poyum reporting for Ram News. Actress Gwendolyn Briley Strand has been touring for her one-woman show since 1993. The Chosen One has played for hundreds of schools and organizations, including the White House. Briley Strand's television credits include Homicide, Life on the Streets, Law and Order, and The West Wing. The Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club help, helps youth in our community. Through after-school programs and evening tutoring, the club offers students a safe environment to learn and have fun. Seth Bowman files a story. The children are our future, and there's an organization in Winston-Salem that strives daily to make that future brighter. The Boys and Girls Club, located on Martin Luther King Drive, has been around for 50 years now. It's really important that parents realize that this is a safe place for their children to learn and grow and to learn everyday life skills. They offer programs such as arts and crafts, have games for the kids, and allow the children to do their homework. Basically to get kids off the street. So, you know what I'm saying, most of the, most of the kids out in this neighborhood a lot of them come here because they don't want to grow up, you know what I'm saying, and get into negative things. The Boys and Girls Club is a valuable part of this community, but what can students do to help? You can become a volunteer by contacting Robin Pardella. She is our volunteer coordinator. Her number is 723-6366. I can't stress that enough for us to have male volunteers to come in to mentor with our young men so that they can see that there are positive young men who are doing things worthwhile with their lives. The Boys Club is pretty much a pillar of our community. I grew up two streets over, and it has helped me. It helped me grow as a person, 
uh, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And I think that it's a great program for these children. It does the same thing to them. The Boys and Girls Club is always accepting volunteers, especially males. And students, if you don't have transportation, they'll provide it for you. For Ram News, I'm Seth Bowman reporting. The Boys and Girls Club currently seeks volunteers for their after school program. If you are interested in learning more about volunteering, contact the club at 723-6366. Transportation is provided for those who need it. As gas prices rise in Winston-Salem, students take advantage of public transportation. WSSU and the Winston-Salem Transit Authority provide students with reliable and affordable transportation. Ashley Taylor reports. With gas prices rising and the need for fuel increasing, students must look for alternative means for transportation. Um, made me think of other ways of uh, getting back and forth to school, like carpooling or possibly taking the bus. The Winston-Salem Transit Authority has created a special offer just for students to aid in the transportation process. Well, the travel passes that we offer are only sold basically on campus uh, that students can utilize over the course of a semester. They're 70-day passes. By grabbing a schedule and a map, students can take advantage of all this program has to offer. Yes, we have several students from Winston State ride each day. The only place they can find the 70-day passes would be in your bookstore at Winston-Salem State University. The Transportation Center offers a wide array of transportation options. Greyhound and Carolina uh, Trailways buses now come to the Transportation Center. Also, uh, cabs are available at any given time here at the facility. Students, get on board with this exciting opportunity and visit the station at 100 West 5th Street. For Ram News, I'm Ashley Taylor reporting. Students can purchase a 70-day pass for $70 in the WSSU bookstore. There are several bus stops around campus. We all have our favorite snack food, but have you ever thought about what junk food may be doing to your body? Gracious Givens files this report. Do you know how many nutrients you need today? Nutrients are a source of nourishment, especially in a nourishing ingredient in food. Are you drinking enough water? Water is needed by so much of the body, yet many people do not drink enough water, which can lead to headaches. Your body is 98% water, so the key factor to nutrition is keeping your body hydrated. Fried chicken and fish may taste good, but they are high in calories and fat. Fried meats, poultry, and fish should be avoided, especially since there are healthier cooking methods like broiling and stir frying. Good nutrition and exercise is the key. It helps you in your daily diet. Calcium helps your bones get stronger. Getting enough calcium in childhood will help prevent osteoporosis later in life. Calcium is the most plentiful mineral found in food. Following the food pyramid can help you in many ways. You need to follow the food pyramid to know about your nutrients. Nutrients is a key factor in your health. It gives you a great boost of energy. If you are not getting enough exercise and not eating well, your body may suffer tremendously. For Ram News, I am Gracious Givens reporting. To help citizens be healthy, the government has developed dietary guidelines. The guidelines suggest good eating habits, physical activity, and healthy weight goals. For more information, students can go online to www.healthierus.gov. Coming up on Ram News, a new place to find parking spaces and your Ram weather is next. As Ram News continues. Charlene, I miss you so much, baby. Each day that passes, I reminisce of the times we shared. I'm flying in next week to see you, but until then, love, Kobe. There are so many of you, and when I say you, babe, you know what I'm talking about. I'm back. Look, Ram TV on. What's more important, Ram TV or me?
yeah, yeah. In the Ferrari or Jaguar, switching four lanes on top down, screaming out, money ain't a thing. Bubble hard in the double law, flashing the rings with the window crack, holla back, money ain't a thing. Jigga, I don't like it if it don't gleam, gleam. Top down, screaming out, money ain't a thing. Bubble hard in the double law, flashing the rings with the window crack, holla back, money ain't a thing. Jigga, I don't Turn like it. Turn it off. This message is brought to you by the Energy Conservation Awareness Team. With the limited amount of parking spaces at WSSU, some students park on the campus landscape. However, there could be consequences for these landscape parkers. Javon McLean has the story. Because there's not enough parking here on campus, students choose what they think is the next best thing, parking on a landscape. Now, uh, landscape you know, parking you know, consists of you know, parking on the grass, or you park it in the mud, or you park on the sidewalk. Personally, I wouldn't do that because you're trying to keep the campus beautiful and you're trying to make it more attractive to get more students, more faculty, more parents, more everything involved. But I can understand why the students do it because there's no place to park. But about, uh, about the next three or five years, they plan to get a new student union and they plan to have a couple parking decks in there. I so agree about the parking date because, you know, it gets real crazy around here right around 2, 3 o'clock also where you end up people parking in front of other people's cars and it prohibits people from leaving. Plus we got the Bowman Gray Stadium and that's a good location for you to park and take the shuttle. There's a simple solution to this parking problem. It's a short drive but a long walk here to the Bowman Gray Stadium commuters parking lot. Parking at Bowman Gray Stadium is not only nerve-wracking but it's vigorous because we as students have to not only get there in time to find a parking spot, but we have to get there to catch the shuttle. And if we don't catch the shuttle in time, then we're late to class. Landscape parking is a problem, but there are resolutions coming to make our campus a better and safer place to park. But for M News, I'm Javon McLean reporting. Because parking is so limited, campus police suggest arriving early for classes to find a space. Last Thursday, students held a campus forum called Real Talk. The forum gave students the opportunity to express concerns about WSSU. Bridget Mitter files the story. SGA, Legendary Ladies, as well as Black Men for Change all have one thing in common. These are growing organizations that want you to hear what they have to say. Tonight, we will have a Real Talk segment about what's going on around our campus. Uh, the purpose of the program tonight is to discuss the different um, hot issues that have been on campus, such as uh, the grades issue. Why we only have party, party slams and sit talks? Okay, as the founder of Legendary Ladies, we are looking for ladies that are stimulated in their schoolwork and in the community. It's kind of see where our students sit intellectually, spiritually, emotionally, because we know where they are socially because we provide events such as homecoming concerts, and those are sold out. But now we want to start focusing on different things, such as the speakers, the intellectual stuff, mind-challenging things. That Not only did our organizations have something to say, but our students as well. I mean, just like what she was saying, some people are natural born leaders. In the real world, people are not going to take your hand. I think that it was a very good turnout. It's obvious that we are the ones that have the true concerns for our campus, and I believe that everybody should get more involved if they want some say so. As you can see, administration aren't the only ones with concerns about our student leadership. Students came out tonight with their concerns as well. This is Bridget Mitter reporting with Ram News. The Real Talk Forum was held in the RJR Lecture Hall. The Student Government Association, Black Men for Change, and Legendary Ladies sponsored the forum. Turning to weather, we saw a sprinkling of snow last weekend. Is there more in store? Kim Binko is standing by in the Ram Weather Center with the forecast. Kim? 
Thanks, Sherelle. I'm Kim with Ram Weather. Let's see what the forecast has in store for us. Today you can see there's going to be a little bit of precipitation. High of 56, low in the 40s. You might want to bring your sweatshirt. Um, so throughout the day, just bring an umbrella too because it's going to be rainy. In the radar you can see here, there's some cloud coverage coming on. The next few days will be a little bit cloudy, a little bit cold. Um, the precipitation shouldn't last through tomorrow. It's supposed to break around midnight. So we'll see what happens with that. For the forecast, on Thursday, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 58 and a low of 38. Friday will be cloudy again with a high of 55 and a low of 34. Saturday, there will be some showers with a high of 58 and a low of 37. Sunday, it will be sunny for a change, high of 48, low of 24. Monday will be cloudy again with a high of 48 and a low of 30. And Tuesday, the sun will break out again for a high of 48 and a low of 34. That's all for now. There's a little bit moving in the north. Coming up on Ram News, crunch time for the Lady Rams basketball team. And meet WSSU's big man next. Winston-Salem State University, at the forefront in wireless technology in classrooms and labs. I feel that Mozik is the highest standard when it comes to modeling. You must come out to the show to support them, man. I love Mozik this much. It's the best. now for Ram Sports. I'm Anthony Bean with Ram Sports. Call it crunch time for Lady Rams basketball. With the CIAA tournament right around the corner, the Lady Rams faced off against Livingstone College. Crystal Knight hits the highlights. Excitement filled the annex here in Winston-Salem as the Lady Rams took on the Lady Blue Bears of Livingstone. Despite the turnovers and fouls by both teams, the Lady Rams managed to pull away with the lead. At halftime with the score of 30 to 25. Here are some Lady Rams and Lady Blue Bears highlights from the first half. After the first half, we spoke with Coach Darty. I think we shot ourselves in the foot um, against their press, I think, but we regrouped, and once we regrouped, we were able to attack it and, um, and score. For the Lady Blue Bears, number 22, Chelsea Johnson, and number 33, Lamika Davis, hit big shots early in the second half to put the Lady Blue Bears on top, 40-34.
The Lady Rams managed to bounce back with shots from the bench and key shots from reserve player Sharina Douglas. Free throws late in the game by Shalonda Carter and a hard-pressed defense from the Lady Rams managed to run away with the win. I feel really good. I thought we came out and we stuck to the game plan. I think the girls played very hard. Um, when the girls came up from the bench, they went in there, they done what they were supposed to do, and it made it, it, made it easier for us. I'm Crystal Knight reporting for Ram News. The Lady Rams finished their 2006 regular season strong. Last night, they defeated the Lady Eagles of North Carolina Central University by a score of 70 to 58. The win marked WSSU's third straight, making this the longest win streak of the season. At the Winter Olympics in Torino, Shawnee Davis won the men's 1,000-meter speed skate. He became the first African-American man to take home Winter Olympic gold. Earlier, Davis decided to withdraw from a team skate event. Teammates and fans criticized the gold medal winner. The controversy put a chill on the victory. You are the first African-American male to win a gold medal at the Winter Games. How proud are you of that? I'm pretty happy about it. Just, that's it? Yeah. Okay, um, your mom, Sherry, you credit her with much of your success. Uh, is this medal as much for her as it is for you? Yeah, she earned it too. Shawnee Davis, oh. Ice Cold Shawnee Davis also competed in the men's 1500 meter speed skate. He came up just 16 one hundredths of a second short in the race. Davis settled for silver, and Rico Fabrice of Italy won the gold. Football season finished long ago for the Rams. Besides the bench, where do players go when not on the field? Jerome Hancock goes behind the scenes to look at one baller's offseason. That's right, fellow Rams. SU has its own football giant, and during the offseason, he still gets it in. My offseason consists of running and lifting weights. I work out five times a week, Monday through Friday. Weekends, I take off, try to relax my muscles. I asked Tremaine what aspect of lifting he likes the most. Well, as far as lifting, I like it all. But mostly, I like the bench press. My bench press is like 4'10", so <laughs> self-explanatory. Everybody likes to eat, especially this big guy. He can eat a whole lot. His 6'3", 272-pound, all-muscle frame needs as much nourishment as possible. I asked him about his off-season eating habits. I find myself eating more at McDonald's and Wendy's, but to balance that out, I still work out and lift weights and stuff like that. During the season, I can't eat like that because those foods, like during the game, is going to slow you down. and you can find yourself going to the bench. Since it's the oh, off season, man. Tremaine has a lot of time on his hand, and he's loving it. I find myself with a whole lot more time to study, and my grades are getting better, and I finally get time to chill with my girl. You better watch out for this big man on campus. This is Jerome Hancock, Ram New. Tremaine McBain pulls his weight and more on the football field. But I bet you didn't know he has a 3.0 grade point average to go along with all that power. As a sports management major, Tremaine hopes to one day work with the NFL. Pro football will make a good fit for the 6'3", 75-pound, 275-pound, excuse me, WSSU big man. Well, thanks for the sports, Anthony. No problem. Coming up, have you read any good books lately? Well, Ram News turns in a book report. Next. And mud just to throw when we come to wet. Doing it once, we doing it twice, we doing it three times. Every little thing we do like magic. Everything we do will not go wrong. Every little thing we do like magic. Everywhere where we go, we're rocking on. Every little thing we do like magic. Every little thing will not go wrong. Every little thing we do like magic. Everywhere we go, we're rocking on.
sophistication, determination, motivated. Legendary Ladies is a women-oriented organization that is designed to promote, empower, and educate our future leaders of Winston-Salem State University, honoring our past, celebrating our present, planting the seeds for our future. Legendary Ladies. WSSU's O'Kelly Library is more than just a place for studying and research. Some students actually read just for the fun of it. Ashley Neal has a story. Have you read any good books lately? More and more of students of WSSU have been reading nonfiction and fiction books along with their usual textbooks. Well, right now, from what I've noticed, Zane, um, Eric Jerome Dickey, and Elian Harris are some of the very popular authors. Um, from what I've seen so far, the majority of those books are checked out and they stay checked out or either on hold. Students come to the library to find popular books. Let's go on campus and see what other students like to read. I like science fiction and I also like mystery novels and black fiction books. Like boy. Like Zane, Eric Jerome Dickey, Omar Tyree. Autobiographies and biographies. We all know reading books is a great way to get away from the stress of campus life. For Ram News, I'm Ashley Neal reporting. What is America reading today? Well, topping the New York Times best-selling list is Sale by Stephen King. And in nonfiction is Marley and Me by John Grogan. For Ram News, this is Sherelle Phelps. Have a great day.